Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's second video, doing the EC Extended first day look ahead for the UK Master York 2 for today's second video. Now, this is your 30 day European outlook, and I should get on with it for you in a moment. Just see that first video release day was our 6 a.m. UK weather forecast, and we've got 10 to 14 there with all of the regular features coming up for you later on this afternoon as well. Please like, share, subscribe, and all the day videos of content. And thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Right, we're going to start off with the situation across Europe for this week, week one, which will be taking us from the 4th through to the 11th of March. So uh, the next week, we'll see low, we'll see high pressure. What I'm doing, we'll see high pressure over Scandinavia, while low pressure will be dominating western, southwestern parts of Europe from off the Atlantic. So the high pressure from Scandinavia trying to bring Easy winds across Europe, of course, low pressure in the Atlantic trying to maintain a westerly flow, a little bit of um, a westerly flow, a little bit of a meteorological battle taking place there. The 500 millibar height anomaly looks like that with high pressure to the north and also to the uh, northeast, low pressure is out to the west and southwest as well, and uh, that will lead to us bringing in the wind across much of Europe from like a southeasterly direction, I suppose. So, pretty wild week to come. This is a temperature anomaly, uh, and the mildest areas are going to be in the extreme north of Europe, across Scandinavia and Nordic regions, and also across eastern parts of Europe as well from the Asiatic towards the Black Sea, and going northwards in southern parts of Germany and Poland even. We see temperature anomalies of around 3 to 6 degrees above average. And in the far north of Scandinavia, well, far north of Finland, see the uh, temperature anomalies of around 6 to 10 degrees above average. Through Western Europe, many areas will be mild and average as well. Because Germany, the low countries, France, Ireland, UK, going down to Spain and Portugal, though, there we have cooler average temperature anomalies, as we do over on the extreme eastern side of Mepru parts of Greece and uh, Turkey, but overall the Mediterranean from a central area anyway, having above average temperatures. Quite a lot of dry weather, of course, under that area of high pressure, so uh, the driest conditions will be across northern, central and also western parts of uh, Europe. Down across southern and southwestern parts of Europe, it is actually wetter, so Spain and Portugal are having quite a wet week a bit. And into southern parts of France, between the Côte d'Azur, down into the Med, and over towards Italy, above average rainfall through there. And around the Ajax as well, we see above average uh, rainfall anomalies once again. Slightly above average rainfall through parts of uh, Greece. And then, so we go further north, there's a lot of dry weather, especially through uh, Scandinavia and northern Europe, so Denmark, uh, Sweden, and uh, Norway coming out significantly drier. Van Dormel, and also the UK, Ireland, the Low Countries, Belgium, Holland, Netherlands, as well as um, parts of France coming out drier than normal. Also, week two it would be the 11th to the 18th of March, and uh, this week again looking quite unsettled from the Atlantic with a big area of low pressure coming into the west of Europe once more. High pressure is still there across Scandinavia, maybe going more towards Iceland and Greenland though. Again, winds potentially coming in from more of an easterly direction across northern parts of Europe. Again, 500 millibar heights looking like that. Again, low pressure is in the Atlantic coming into western, southwestern parts of Europe. High pressure is uh, further north, was around Greenland in the North Atlantic going over towards Scandinavia as well. The week two temperature anomaly is looking generally mild and average in many areas. So um, we do see a bit of cold and average in the far north. Again, Scandinavia, Nordic regions, possibly the Baltic Sea states of Black Estonia, and Lithuania too, looking perhaps a little bit on the uh, a little bit on the cooler side. Uh, maybe a little bit cooler into the UK as well with those uh, east winds on parts of Germany and Poland. Could be a little bit on the cool side. But anyway, further south than that, it's uh, above average with, that, with the uh, temperature and only so a mild average week through France and pretty much as central and also over to Eastern Europe, Southern Europe as well, coming out mild average. Spain, Portugal, though, only near normal. And as far as precipitation goes, well, we see where the high pressure is going to be sitting. It's across these far northern regions. So again, in the North Atlantic, to the North of Scotland, to uh, Norway, Sweden, Finland, the Baltic Sea states. That's where we've got the block. And so it says 
driving average there. Elsewhere, it looks quite wet, especially in this west and southwest region. So, you know, Spain, Portugal, into uh, parts of West France, well, coming out wetter than average, and also above average rainfall over on the eastern side of uh, Europe, especially around the Balkans, the Black Sea, and going northwards up towards southwestern parts of Russia. Central bowl of the Med, perhaps having uh, some rather unsettled weather at times as well. Week 3 will be the 18th to 25th of March. So the blocking area of high pressure continues around Iceland and Greenland. Otherwise, just quite a lot of low pressure, really, across uh, many parts of Europe. 500 millibar heights look like that. So again, we've got a block around Greenland and Iceland. With a trough in across northern and northeastern parts of Europe once again. Temperature anomalies are milder than average in many areas. So, UK and Ireland, France, Spain, Portugal, and West, right way over to Black Sea in the east with above average temperatures. Again, it's just in this far northern portion of the Europe, but it looks rather on the colder than average side again, particularly through like central of Sweden, Finland, and towards both some of those Baltic Sea states also. And week three rainfall looks like that. Overall, rather an unsettled week, it has to be said, particularly in western parts of Europe, but also extending over to Eastern Europe as well. A little bit drier than average in the far north and down in the extreme southern part of Europe as well. Week 4 will be the 25th of March to the 1st of April. No real changes, really. High pressure continues to be blocking around Queen and Iceland. Otherwise, quite a lot of uh, low pressure there for the last week of the month. 500 millibar heights, again, placing a trough of low through the western, west of Europe in combination with a blocking area of high pressure around Greenland and Iceland. Temperature anomalies look mildest over on the eastern side of uh, Europe. So again, through the Balkans up towards the Black Sea to southwest of Russia. Meanwhile, Western Europe looking generally average or cooler. And uh, Northern Europe here is again colder than average. And precipitations looks drier than average across these northern parts of Europe and uh, wetter than average through many central Western and also southern and southwestern regions as well, it must be said. Right, that's your 30 day look ahead done, but let's go through weeks five and six data uh, before we go. So, week five will be the first to the 8th of April, and no changes really. Again, the blocking area of high pressure around Green and Iceland, plenty of low pressure in across Europe as well. 500 millibar heights. They don't really show much of a change either. The below average heights into the west of Europe, blocking again up towards Greenland and Iceland. Temperature anomalies are mildest on the eastern side of Europe, nearer, nearer normal or cooler in more western regions. Uh, precipitation looks pretty wet through these western southwestern areas, but drier up in the north. Whoops. And then week six will be the 8th to the 15th of April. And again, we find that we have a blocking area of high pressure to the north with lower pressure across the west, across the rest and the west even of Europe. 500 millibar heights with low pressure in the Atlantic into Western Europe combined with blocking around Greenland and Iceland. Temperature anomalies are average or cool in the north and the west, mildness in the south and the east of Europe. And precipitation, again, we see that drier than average signal within the higher latitudes around Iceland, Norwegian Sea, Greenland. But underneath it, we see wetter than average conditions continuing. OK, now just a snapshot of what the model is uh, showing this week. could look completely different when we look at it again on Saturday for the uh, UK and Ireland focus. Or indeed next Tuesday for the wider European outlook. If you enjoyed the video and found the forecast useful and informative, please do like, share and subscribe. And we're going to be back uh, a little bit later on with your 10 to 14 day. Thank you so much to ECMWF.int for supplying the charts and the data. And for this one, that's all for now. And thanks so much.